Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Teresa. Come hang out with us today. On my Fix It Up Life. <laughs> appeal to your home. Create a memorable entrance with Thermatrue fiberglass doors and Fipon synthetic trim that won't warp, crack, or rot. And give you those rich details that make your home a showpiece. Make your great entrance by visiting Thermatrue.com and Fipon.com. And you're hanging out with my Fix It Up Life live. And we're talking design today with HGTV design star winner and super charismatic, <laughs> uber talented designer, <laughs> Jennifer Bertrand. And we've got a very important topic that we have to get to. Yes. But I'm going to do the long way around because Jennifer's such Why an the interesting... the long way around? Because I have a plan. Is it the romantic in you? I have a plan. Gonna take the long way home. Aww. Aww. All right. the, the, the question is, or the topic for today, is brass is back and animal prints are in and someone called Don Johnson from Miami <laughs> Vice because I, I gotta go get like a white... A blazer and well, those slip-on shoes that people had back well, then. You know, Mark, this is why I wanted to talk to Jennifer, because she is a design star, and she is all about all of the trends that are going on. And whenever I talk to friends, and I say that brass is in, that gold is in, even animal print, they say, wait a second, that is so 80s. Like, what happened? Are you serious? How can that be in? And so we want to get the lowdown on how to do it tastefully and how to do it right. And why is it in? Well, okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Now, we've all seen it done horribly and hideously. Like, here's the thing. When you're doing things like animal prints, you need to choose your focal point. Where do you want it to go? Where do you want it to happen? So, like, when you walk into a space, make it just to where your eye goes to one animal print, not 65 varying sizes. Actually, the tones of animal prints are great. Like, imagine the perfect leopard with these beautiful, cat, like, caramel colors within it. And brass, oh my gosh, I love brass. Brass is my favorite. And all you people out there vomiting in your mouth right now, <laughs> shiny brass is out, antique brass is in. Mm -hmm. And honestly, here you guys go, I'm going to blow your mind. It's about layering metals as well. So using brass within a space with oil bronze, you don't have to match everything. Boom, blown your mind. Can, can first of all... Okay, Mark has a question. No, I've got nine. He is like okay, going to be guys. sitting at your knee, like, please tell me all of this information. <laughs> and you know what? I tell him this stuff. But he doesn't listen to me because I am his wife. We're married. So it's kind of hard to hear me through his husband ear. So he's got a lot of questions for you. Okay, None of good. which I remember right now because you completely <laughs> distracted me, of course. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm going to be saying throwing up in your mouth a little for the next five years. Can't you pick your dumb and dumber where he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch movies with you already. That's guaranteed right there. <laughs> That'll what be our next hangout. I, I'm we'll just sorry. Watch movies. I'm laughing so hard to myself. I forgot what we're talking about. Brass and more brass. Brass and more brass. Yes. <laughs> so mixing metals. I think that's where your hand started to go up. The, yes, because I also love that. You do? I do. I do. I've seen bathroom fixtures that have a mixture of stuff that you would not like so much that I've actually never told you about it. Oh. But, <laughs> yes. Because she would, it would be bad. It would just, oh. there's no reason. Exactly. But I this, love it. Uh, yes, yeah, this photo, that's a Kohler faucet. Now, you may go, oh, that's beautiful. But, okay, so I have this is a bad analogy for a guy. But it's kind of like the earrings to an outfit or the sexy high-heeled shoes. You don't have to do the whole bathroom in grass. You could have all brushed nickel with only splashes of brass. So you can choose your moment, and you just have to do it without looking totally schizophrenic. It has to be a methodical moment. Ooh, the sink faucet is your dramatic moment, and all the boring stuff like hinges can be a different metal, a more cost-efficient metal. So... <laughs> Mark has his hand up again. He would like to be recognized. Is that is that what hit the freight train of ugly 
in the 80s that nah, the, the overdoneness like we went to a house recently that looks like it had last been decorated in i don't know what movies came out in the 80s anyway about yeah. then and it was just overwhelmingly fake well and we tend to go I don't know what to do, so I'm going to do it all. And think about it. Like, when I design a room, it's like painting a picture. I'm layering in tones and colors and palettes and all of that. But so for a homeowner who goes, that's great, Jen. I'm not into it. You think about it is you don't want everything to compete with everything. You want to have some that pull to the background and some that push to the foreground. So a, a faucet like that is a showstopper, pushes to the foreground, and then it doesn't compete if everything is all brass. So my question is, is, you know, brass has been something that we've been talking about probably for about a year or so in the design world. Now, why, why do you think that's something that has come back into trend? Because people used to talk about like nickel and, you know, those kinds of metals, mm -hmm. the cooler colored metals. Now, the warmer tones of metals are coming in and we're celebrating them so much. Why, why is that? Well, right now on trend, all metallics are in. You'll see it in wallpapers. You see it on the runways on fashion shows. You'll see it. I think it also takes a, time, a long time for it to come from the coasts into the central parts of the United States. I think the thing is warmth, like you're saying. Things went a little cold and sterile. And then also as we're seeing a trend towards lots of white and light and airy, you have to be careful that it doesn't lose a sense of life and a soul to the space, which sometimes the warmer metals can add that little hug that you need. Hug. <laughs> I like it when things give me a little hug. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we've we mentioned the Kohler faucet a bunch of times, mm -hmm. and hinges you mentioned earlier can or cannot be part of that uh, metallic scheme. And that beautiful wallpaper that we were just looking at. And the yeah, wallpaper. Yeah, and that was also a hand-painted stencil, which is more cost-efficient. Wow. The, you opened the floodgates to my long way around questions. <laughs> yes. Your website. <laughs> yes. Needs uh, to be redone because I haven't done it in a while. Oh, wait. Jennifer JenniferBertrand.com. Jennifer yes. Yes. So you... You guys specialize in finishing cabinets, finishing woodwork, doing custom painting like is behind you, and then you have a tab for murals mm -hmm. that after looking at those other ones, I couldn't bring myself to look at it because of the previously awesome crescendo I was reaching. <laughs> I mean, you guys do fantastic stuff, and you already answered my question, but I have to give you props for all this. Yeah. which is are you bringing it in to what you actually hand paint and hand create well i'm like you guys i'm kind of like you're like uh i'll just get down and dirty and do it and i found a lot of people couldn't always afford the custom wallpapers or those super expensive nice ones that i love and i have a son with special needs i can't afford all that stuff so i learned to just hand paint things and teach people Did we lose Jennifer? I think we did. I think we did I lose think Jennifer. We, did. we can admire her image and we can talk about it a little bit while we're waiting for her to come back. Maybe she will come back, but we can stay with talking about the design trends yes. of using metallics, using animal prints, and what she was saying, which is something you're great at, which What's is creating that? the entire story of the room. Yes, it's important because you don't want to, like Jennifer Bertram was saying, is you don't want to have an entire room that is one metal. All feature. Yes, all feature. All feature, no background. Because if it's all feature, then there's nothing that's featured at all. Like if you go whole hog on any one thing, then nothing has a chance to be a part of that symphony. In order to have a really good piece of music, you want to have lots of different players you know, making that sound. Working at the same time, towards the same yes. goal, with the same ethos. Yes. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get Jennifer back. It's probably something in the, the interwebs that is inhibiting her to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> but we have been talking with her for, you know, all... Well, I think she just left the video chat, too. So maybe we'll be able to get her back if we give her another invite back into the call. 
But you can find her at jenniferbertrand.com. And we follow her on Twitter at JB Loves Design. And she talks about all kinds of wonderful things on Twitter and those beautiful pictures that you were talking about. Oh, yeah. On her website. Well, one thing that she has uh, that she brought up on Twitter recently is that? that barn doors inside, you know, rolling, sliding barn doors, yes. which we love. Yes. Uh, and you put one in one of the bakeries we, that we did on well, Save My Bakery. we put one in our house like five years ago. And we use it all the time. Yes. And what she points out on her Twitter observation, all 140 characters, so I know everything that she knows about barn doors. But did you download like, you know, put it on like a drive and put it into your brain? <laughs> they don't have to look like barn doors, so you can take that like you were saying before, that ethos, that story, make it look different, awesome, modern, new. Yes. Not like you just yanked it off the side of an old building and put it into a modern kitchen or a modern yes. bathroom and well, use it as a solution, too. The thing too. Is, is that that hardware, that sliding hardware, just because that's what we're used to seeing it with, is that rustic barn look. It doesn't mean that you have to attach something that looks like that to that hardware. You can do anything. You could do a shoji screen kind of concept where you can have filtering light coming through. That like would you be can cool. play with it. And that's the thing about design that I really love is that it's like a huge opportunity to play. And you look at different things and what they're made for and then think about what you're trying to do and using all these pieces and parts in new ways and i think it's just really it's fun yeah it's a game i and i it is. mean it's this like a it's like a game that's I, exhilarating yes and i mean this in a positive way yeah. it's like a game for you uh, yeah. whether it's a game like a puzzle whatever your sort of approach to it is and you do that in such a nice and cohesive way and i think we're getting to the end of our hangout too so thanks for hanging out with us. Keep your design and DIY inspired while you're on the move with more of my Fix It Up Life tips and ideas. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Hang out with us on Google+. Follow Jennifer Bertrand at JB Loves Designs. And check out the next my Fix It Up Life live. Somewhere I could just lay low. Brave the storm and wait. Better weather Cause tonight